Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another try on collection video of all of my shorts and skirts today. So um, I'm joined by my friend Bish, who's the penguin sitting in the corner over there, and I'm going to be showing you all of my shorts and skirts that are like denim or like going out kind of materials. So I'm going to start off with, um, also actually I'll show you the top, I'll start off with that. The top that I'm wearing of course is my Lululemon Align tank top. It's just a really basic like cropped tight tank with a little Lululemon logo on the back and it's just a really comfy tank that goes with everything. So I'll be wearing that um, as the top half of all my um, outfits today and I'll show you different shorts. So this first pair of shorts is my um, Levi pair of shorts and these were from my friend Laura. I had some shorts that were too big for me and these are very short and she's a lot taller than me so these were too like short on her. They're quite short on me too but um, I can pull it off a little bit better than she can. These are some black um, Lulu, not Lulu, these are some black Levi's shorts and they just look like this. Um, they're really cute. They're very, um, very short. So I wear these mostly like in summer or like when it's a beach day or something like that. But they have this like um, raw kind of frayed hem, which I love. I love distressed edges on jeans. And yeah, they just look like this. They're black. And she bought them from Route 66, which is a vintage store here in Sydney, located currently in Newtown. Um, love these so much. And thank you, Laura, for trading with me. Um, I know that Laura loves the shorts that I traded with her. I gave her some like really cute low-waisted um, blue denim shorts but unfortunately they didn't fit me anymore they were just <sighs> you could see my underwear when I was wearing them because they were like hanging off me that much um, but they look so good on Laura Laura looks really cute on them um, Laura looks really cute in them so I'm so glad that they went to a better home because they're really cute shorts and I hope she loves them because um, she looks really cute in them. These next shorts are from Rollers and they have a kind of like rolled hem detail at the bottom. The back sometimes folds down when I'm wearing them too much but um you can just fold it back up and they just look like this. They're high waisted and I think they're really cute. These are a size 25, an Aussie size 7 and these are called the Duster's High Rise Slim Shorts. I have like a 24 inch waist so these are a little bit big on me especially because um, a lot of denim stretches over time so these are really comfy shorts for me because they're so like um, like they're so comfy and like stretchy and like have a bit of space for me um, but I don't feel like they're too big that it's unflattering and I do think they're really cute um, as long as you can't see my underwear which you can't with these um, then it's fine um, they're cute they go with so many things the back just looks like this and yeah they're just a good basic to have I wear these to work all the time because they're really comfy and they're just good shorts to have I like the color a lot as well I really like this um, wash of denim it's one of my favorite kind of denim colors this next pair of shorts I love so much. I actually thrifted these and they cost me a little more than I usually would pay for for a pair of shorts um, just because they weren't like less than ten dollars um, but I thought I may as well splurge because they're so cute. These are from Wrangler and they look like this on the back. I really love how like vintage the cut of these um, like shorts look. It looks very like I don't know like pin up but not um, kind of like gives me I don't know vintage vibes. Um, I love the wash. I feel like it's very flattering and goes with a lot of different outfits that I wear and these are from Wrangler and they're in a size 10. By the way, you can see this drawer's open. My shorts live in this drawer so we'll probably open and close through this video but yeah, really like these shorts. Um, the back of the pockets have these little W's on them, like the little Wrangler W's and then um, that's what the little logo looks like at the back. These are not as comfortable as some of my other shorts so I reach for these kind of less just because the crotch is kind of like uncomfortable like the way the seam goes up the center kind of gives me a bit of a wedgie so these aren't my most comfortable shorts but they are really cute so I do wear them a lot and they go really cute with a lot of crop tops. I wear these shorts when I go on holidays a lot just because they look really cute with a lot of like different crop tops and bikini tops and different outfits. I think they're a really fun like mid-wash kind of color and I really like how bright blue they are. This next pair of shorts I bought from a vintage store and these cost me like five or ten dollars. I think it was five dollars and I love them so much. These are from One Teaspoon and they fit so cute. They're low waisted and they're really short at the back. I love the distressing. The only thing I wish was different about these is I kind of wish they were the same color as this skirt that I'll show you later. I just feel like this is like such a 2000s looking pair of shorts and I feel like this is a more 2000s colorway. Maybe that's just me, I just feel like this is like really 2000s looking, whereas this colour is a little bit more of a mid-wash, so it's a little, I don't know, maybe it's more versatile because it is a mid-wash though, because then I can like pair it with more different like darker shirts as well, because if I was wearing like lighter shorts that were like this, I'd probably wear it with light coloured tops only. I don't know, I really do like these shorts a lot though, I think they're really cute, I love how they fit and I love that they're low-waisted. I wish that low-waisted shorts were more like produce these days because I feel like everything that you buy at the shops at the moment is high-waisted and 
I like low waisted more. So yeah, these are really cute though. I really love them. I love the distressing. I wish more shorts were more distressed because this is like my favorite kind of edge on shorts. Just like really, really fringy. These are also button up shorts. So they have the little like one teaspoon logo there and then they button up with one, two, three buttons to button up the fly. And they have the little one teaspoon like logo on the back like that. I've just turned these one teaspoon shorts inside out so that I can show you that's what the inside pocket looks like and these are size 6 and yeah I'm not really sure what the style name is called because I purchased these from a vintage store like a little like secondhand store in Newtown again I think it's just like a little like second life op shop kind of store but yeah that's what these shorts look like. Um, these shorts I'm wearing currently are from Subi and I bought these from General Pants they were actually on clearance when I bought them on sale so I was really happy. Um, I also got them in black. I can't remember what the name of these is called, but I showed them in a haul video a while ago. What size are these? Um, oh, these are called the Tongue and Cheek Short. Like, Tongue N, like the letter N, Cheek Short. Um, these ones are like a mid-wash kind of blue colour, and then I have the exact same shorts in a black, which I'll try on in a second. And these are both in the size 24 inches, so like 24 inch waist. Um, I have a 24 inch waist, but these are also very stretchy and apparently over time they will stretch out. They still fit pretty good right now, but apparently over time they will like get looser. Um, the button is like, all the hardware on this is like, um, rose gold kind of colored, distressed. Um, they have this, um, design on the side here with the little Subi logo with the like pluses in the boxes. And then, um, this is like the tag that hangs off the pocket and this is what the, um, little pluses look like there. I haven't taken off this string. That was from the um, tag when I bought it. But yeah, that is what these shorts look like. I'll come back in the black ones in one second. So these are the tongue and cheek shorts in black. Um, I got both colors just because I thought that they were like a versatile style. They're kind of like a higher waist um, and they had like a little bit of distressing at the edges, but nothing like crazy. I kind of hope that they get more distressed as I wear them. Um, but yeah, the black looks really cute and is super versatile and basic as well. That's what the back looks like. Sorry, there's a truck going past. It's like a trolley truck, so they pick up like the trolleys from supermarkets that get left around the streets. So that's why it always goes bang bang past my house. Anyway, it just looks like that on the short on the back, and then the side looks like this with the little um, black Subi logos, if you can see those there. Um, and yeah, these are really cute. They are button up, so it takes one, two, three like crotch buttons, and then the little button at the top to do these up. Um, I prefer zip up shorts, I just feel like it's easy to get them on, but um, these are really cute too. Um, they have the front pockets, they're both the exact same pair of shorts, just in different colorways. They also have this little side pocket that I don't know what it's used for is. Um, and then the back pocket, so yeah, just a really good basic pair of shorts. Okay, so we're getting into skirts now, and I thought I would start off by showing you my only denim skirt. Um, this is the skirt that I thrifted. I actually got this from Glebe Markets for $2, I think it was, ages ago. And I really love how 2000s it looks. They're um, really, really short, so this skirt is literally ending right underneath my bum there, but it's a really short little 2000s skirt. I love the wash of this denim. It's really light. It's a very, very, very light blue, and I just feel so 2000s when I wear this. It's a really cute length, and this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure what brand this is, but that's what the back of the um, like skirt looks like. It says Keenly Luxury Denim or something inside, um, and I believe these are a size 24. I'm not sure if you'd be able to find these though, because I feel like they're from like the actual 2000s, and so I love them so much because they just don't make skirts this low-waisted and in this length anymore. They're tiny. I love this skirt so much, and I just think it's really cute. My bum almost comes out the back, but it's kind of a vibe, and love this skirt so much. It's really cute. Okay, so I've just looked at the button, and the button said Henley's, so I'm not sure if that's a brand or something. Um, but yeah, it says Henley's run around on the tag and it has like a little, um, I don't know what it's called. The floral kind of, I'm not sure what that name is called, but like a little filigree picture in the middle. Um, and it has back pockets too. Front pockets and back pockets. It's so cute. I love this skirt so much. So this is what that skirt looks like on the inside. It just says that. Um, and I love how this skirt has distressing. I just think it's so, like, 2000s. I like the raw edge on, like, um hem. Um, usually I like more distressing on the hem of um, denim, but I kind of feel like this is enough. It like suits the skirt. It looks really good. Um, these are just one of my favorite pairs of, pairs of shorts, pairs of skirt. This is one of my favorite skirts. It's just so cute. I love it. I love how short it is too. Um, this next skirt is actually a score. Ta-da! It's kind of see-through, but having this like front panel that you can tie at the front kind of makes it less see-through. Um, these are really cute um, skorts. 
that I just wear with loads of stuff, especially in the summer. They give me a very beachy vibe. These I purchased from City Beach and they're actually from the brand um, Malula. What size is this? This is a size 8. I was going to go for a size 6, but I thought I better get them a little bit like looser so that they're comfortable and like I can wear them. Um, after like a hot day at the beach and I don't want to feel too like restricted and stuff They just look like this at the back because they're skorts. They have the little like You can see that they're shorts at the back But um, I really like how clean and crisp this looks at the front um, with that like flat panel at the front And yeah, this is the only white skirt I have but I feel like it's very versatile and I've worn it with a load of outfits Any crop top looks cute with this jumpers, you know t-shirts I just feel like it's a really nice um, skirt to dress down or dress up it has a zip at the back, that's the actual way to get it on and off. It's um like a linen kind of skirt. I kind of wish it had, like, because it's a skirt, it could have had pockets, but it doesn't have pockets, which is kind of disappointing, but um, it's still cute. This next skirt I thrifted years ago, and that is what the brand is. I'm not sure what that brand is, but it's a size small. Um, I feel like either I've shrunk or this skirt has stretched out over time, but this is one of my favourite skirts ever. It doesn't fit me exactly the way it used to, though. I feel like maybe I've shrunk a little bit because um, I have become more toned over time but this is still one of my favorite skirts even though it doesn't fit exactly the way it used to. Um, I love the color of this, I love the, um, what's this material called? Um, corduroy kind of texture it has going, it's really soft and I love the buttons going down the front. I just feel like this is such like my style, goes with so many of my tops, like even this outfit I would wear out. I've worn this skirt everywhere, I've worn this skirt on like first dates, to the club, to parties, brunch, lunch, dinner, like I've worn this skirt everywhere, it's one of my favourites and I wear it with everything, especially dark coloured tops, I feel like dark coloured tops in this skirt is really cute, um, it's definitely one of my favourites and was probably my top three items in my closet of all time, um, like two years ago, probably not now but it's still definitely one of my favourite pieces I have, very soft and comfortable and yeah because I have like toned up a little bit I feel like it's even more comfy to wear now because it is a little bit like looser on me which is like really nice and comfy. Um, but yeah, just has this little um, belt loop around the waist if I wanted to add like a belt or something. I've never actually worn this with a belt, but I could if I wanted because it goes all the way around. Um, but I haven't done that before. Maybe I should. But yeah, love this skirt so much. Because I love that previous skirt so much, I purchased a very similar one in a like kind of mustardy brown, light brown, tan kind of corduroy material. This one fits a little bit differently though. This one is more bodycon, more fitted to the body, uh, more stretchy and tight around um, my body compared to the other one. The other one's a little bit more... Um, flowy and outwards, a little bit more A-line, um, but I really like this one. It's just a slightly different vibe. Because it was a different vibe when I first bought it, I didn't wear it as much as the other one for a while, but now I'm actually getting into this one a bit more because this one, I feel like, fits me a little bit better at the moment. This one is a size 6, and I purchased it from Pear Basic from um, Universal Store, which is a store that we have here in Australia that sells, like, like trendy kind of clothes. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now, um, and it still has held up to the through the test of time. It's just really comfortable and stretchy, um, very stretchy material. Both of the skirts that I just showed you, so this one and the last one, the buttons undo all the way. So if I wanted to take this off, I would undo all the buttons, or like most of them. Um, yeah, the buttons are really cute. I love the way this looks with literally any kind of top. This skirt is super versatile with white, gray, black tops, um, you know, cream colored tops. I just feel like it goes with a lot of basics. Um, and it's a good skirt to pair with a lot of things in my wardrobe. Um, I also feel like it goes well with my um, skin colour and my hair colour. Um, I feel like not every brown is like the best brown on my skin tone. But I feel like this kind of um, mustardy, light tan kind of brown does work well on me. Um, it's not too like weird of an undertone or anything and I just feel like it's a really cute colour. Um, and do I have anything else to say? No, but I really wish I had this as a jacket. Like I really wish I had one of those like Sherpa jackets in this kind of corduroy material. I am on the hunt for one of those. Um, but yeah, really love this skirt. I got it in like a deal that they had at Universal Store for a while ago. Um, it was like two things for $60, which was really expensive for me at the time um, because I never spend more than like $10 on like a bottom, like on a skirt or a pair of shorts. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, I better wear this so much. And I have. It's really cute. And I still have it in my closet to this day, even though it's been like three or four years now. So yeah, love this so much. And I'm definitely going to be wearing it more into the future. This next skirt that I have to show you is another one that I thrifted again. And this is a little netball skirt. Um, this was probably someone's school uniform a long time ago. And this is my kind of take on the like tennis skirt, um, schoolgirl skirt kind of trend. It's just a little netball skirt that like 
kind of wraps around the front of you like this um, and then you can kind of adjust it there's velcro in here so you can adjust it to however um, tight or loose you'd like it to be and then you can just kind of zip it up like that um, along this track I really like this because if I want to be really like snatched when I first go out I can like really snatch my waist with this skirt but then as I eat or if I do something and like want to get more comfortable I can really like loosen up through the velcro here kind of adjust it to be a little bit more comfortable and I can definitely wear this like comfy or snatched um, I really like the pleating all the way around. This is pleated all the way around and then has this like kind of smooth front panel. Um, I'd really like to get one of these skirts in white, but I haven't seen one in white yet. Um, but in Australia, these netball skirts are really common for like um, primary school uniforms or like just netball uniforms and stuff. Just like this style of skirt is really popular and common. Um, so a lot of the time they sell these at like thrift stores when people are done with their uniforms in, sorry, in either like blue or green. Um, but I have it in black. I'm looking for it in white at the moment. And then I also have it in yellow, just because yellow is one of my favourite colours. This one is creased at the moment, but it just has that flat panel at the front. I'm not going to try it on because it fits exactly the same as this one does. Um, and then it has that like pleating down the side there, so it looks really cute. And I love like the texture that it gives to an outfit. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to my one schoolgirl skirt that I have um, that I've lent to my friend Francesca. It's red with like kind of plaid design on it, and it looks kind of like a Christmas kind of skirt. I love that skirt so much. It's probably my favourite skirt at the moment. Um, it was a gift from my friend and I wear it all of the time. Um, I had a phase where I probably didn't take that skirt off for a month. I'm not even kidding. I was wearing it every day. Um, and now that I'm finally taking a break from it, I was able to lend it to my friend for a period of time just because I was emotionally ready to part with it, have a break from it. But I'm excited to get it back because I already miss it. I love that skirt so much. It's definitely my favourite skirt at the moment. I've posted so many pictures on Instagram wearing that skirt. I'll pop in a couple of my favourite outfits I've um, done with that skirt here. As you can tell, I pretty much like wearing this skirt with like dark coloured tops, black tops. But it does look really cute with cream coloured tops, white tops and like brown tops too. But usually I just stick to neutrals with it just because I feel like it pairs better with like neutral coloured tops. Just because the skirt is such a pop like accent itself. But yeah, that skirt is a size 8 and I think it's from General Pants. Um, I can't remember the brand exactly, but um, yeah, it's a really cute little um, pleated red skirt from um, General Pants with a plaid pattern all over it. Actually, something I forgot to mention about my corduroy like button-up skirt, um, I really wanted like the Brandy Melville um, skirt that was similar to this, but not exactly the Brandy Melville skirt because the, I didn't like the skater skirt style of it as much, um, so I was really happy that I was able to find a more like fitted version of it because this is exactly what I was looking for. Anyway, it's kind of irrelevant, but I was really liking the Brandy Melville like color, so I was really happy to find like a dupe of the color in the cut that I wanted. This next skirt is a skater skirt, however, and this is from literally like 2014 when skater skirts were all the rage. Um, this one is a size extra small from H&M Divided and it has held up through the test of time. The um, cotton on this is really um, like good quality still, like it hasn't peeled or anything. Um, sorry, there's probably dog hair all over my clothes because we have a beagle, but um, yeah, it just looks like this. It goes with a lot of outfits. I wear this um, when I go on holidays as well to so like Taiwan or something. I just feel like it's a really versatile skirt. Um, I like the thick waistband because if I'm wearing like an oversized t-shirt, I can tuck it into the waistband or I can just wear it with a crop top like this or wear a big t-shirt over the top and have it all baggy um but yeah just a really cute black basic skater skirt and i've kept it because i feel like it's a really versatile piece in my wardrobe i have one more skirt to show you and it's very out there and a bit different to all the rest of my skirts so i'll show you now this is my red vinyl midi skirt and i got this from meshki's sample sale a couple of years ago as you may have seen on my channel um i showed you everything i got in that sample sale haul and this is one of the skirts i picked up it is bright red it's really intense and it's a midi length. I'm just going to climb up on my bed so that I can show you. Um, so yeah, it just fits like just under the knees like this. It's really cute. It's very tight and um, I've got a size small, I believe. I also picked it up in black, but the black one came with a broken zip because it was a sample sale. So I was aware of that. It did say on the tag. Where is the tag? The tag did say $5 zip broken, but this one was $5 and the zip wasn't broken. And I've worn this and I felt super confident when I was wearing it. I think it's really like fun and I feel like it's fitting really well like the waist is really like nice and snatched but the bum isn't too tight like it fits me in all my like proportions and stuff around my waist and my bum and my tummy and all that um I'm excited to get the zip on this fixed but I just haven't because I've been putting it off um but I will be getting the zip on the black um skirt fixed so that I can wear it this is exactly the same midi skirt 
except in black vinyl instead. So yeah, love it so much. Um, but I've been wearing the red one more because this one has a broken zip when I bought it. Um, but yeah, that is all of my skirts and my shorts. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything down below that you would like to see from me in future. Uh, leave any comments that you'd like to share with me. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more content from me in the future. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.